Hey, fellow beach bums. It is raining like crazy today. There's tons and tons of rain. It's what you get living in South Alabama at the beach. Happens all the time. So today we are not fishing, wish I could, but instead I'm gonna show you a little video about how I set up my beach cart. So let's check it out. First of many problems you're gonna to have to solve when you decide to start fishing off the beach is how the heck do I get all of this to the beach in one load? Holy cow, that's a lot of stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what I do to get everything in one load. I can carry every bit of this by myself. Uh, of course, you gotta have a good beach cart. Uh, so that's where you're gonna to wanna to start. So let's take a look at it. There's a few different models and they're actually a lot more expensive than you would think, but this is like the medium size. I don't know exactly what the dimensions are, but it's got five rod holders and it can hold a cooler and your tackle and pretty much anything you're gonna need. I'm gonna show you how I fit everything in here, but this is where you're gonna wanna start. They're pretty expensive. You can probably find some on a yard sale site or on eBay or if you're like me and you get on a lot of these fishing pages on YouTube people are selling these all the time trying to get extra money so you can probably find a deal if you look hard enough but next problem you're gonna have to try to figure out and solve is the cooler uh, there's a lot of coolers obviously and there's a lot of options and you probably already have some but what you're gonna have to figure out is will it fit and can I fit it with my other stuff the one that I use is a Coleman. It's, it's cheap, uh, obviously a lot of folks go for the Yetis and those really fancy coolers these days, but uh, this one fit. So that's why I went with this one and it keeps ice for almost a day on the beach. Uh, it usually melts by the end of the day, but that's really all you need to keep your fish cold and your bait cool. Uh, so I'll show you how it fits in here. So I put it towards the back and it gives me plenty of room in the front to continue to put other stuff I actually run two coolers uh, reason I do that is I don't like to put my drinks in with my fish some dudes are really hardcore and they do it but I usually have my wife with me or some other friends or family so I prefer to have them separate so that my my drinks don't taste like fish because that just sounds really gross if you're hardcore and cool like that more power to you but that's not for me so here's my second cooler. Uh, I just found this. It's uh, just a Shimano, it's some random cooler I found at our local tackle shop. You can probably use a lunchbox cooler. Uh, there's probably a lot of different options here, but uh, I like this one just because it had the extra storage in the front, which is probably to keep stuff cold, but I use it to put some of my tackle materials in. So it fits pretty good in the front. Uh, so that way that takes up all the space. So I still got all of that, but I'll show you how I make that work. But in this front portion, uh, it's good because what I do for it makes it real easy. These are all of my sinkers, my three ounce and four ounce and five ounce leads that I use out on the beach. And I use a little dry box and it fits right there. So it makes that real easy to get on and off the beach. Next up is your tackle. Now, when you're fishing off the beach, obviously you wanna take as little as you possibly can. And when you're beach fishing, you don't really need a whole lot of tackle. So you can probably downsize your tackle into smaller tackle boxes to get them out on the beach. So I'll show you what I use. I've got two uh, different storage compartments that I use. One is just a, I can't remember where I got this, but you can find these pretty much anywhere, but it's just a Sterilite, whatever the heck that is. Uh, box but it's clear and it fits uh, all of my tools and I use a lot of fish bites off the beach and I use uh, take this to tie my pompano rigs this is just 20 pound mono liter some sunscreen so any random things that I, I, I'm gonna need scissors knife measuring tool you know anything and everything that you're gonna need on the beach I can just throw it in here and it all fits nicely so where I put it on my on my beach cart it fits perfectly right there uh, you can tie it down I've got some bungees so I can strap it over the top if I need to if I'm going 
on some hardcore rough terrain, which you're not, you're on the beach. So usually I just leave it right here, just right on top, loose like that. And then my second tackle bag, it's just got three planos, real small ones. This is what I keep all of my uh, materials that I need to tie my pompano rigs. I've got hooks, floats, beads. I've got some, um, some snap swivels and some barrel swivels. So everything I need pretty much right there. I could go to the beach with just this most days. That's really all I'm gonna need. But I do also have some lures in case I see something that I wanna throw some lures at. Um, I've also got some jigs in here as well in case I decide to throw for some flounder or something on the bottom. So uh, that's really all you're gonna need. And this, I will show you, fits nicely right here. So I just throw that on the handle and it's ready to go. Next, I'm gonna show you how I put my rod holders in the, my chair. I use a Tommy Bahama chair. There's uh, plenty of them, but what's nice is it's like a backpack style chair so you don't have to carry it and it also kind of creates a uh, pouch here so what you can do with this for my rod holders is i can take them and i can put them in like that so four will fit in there just like that and i can put this on my back so i'm not having to carry anything just yet now last up, of course, I've still got my rods. Now those are pretty self-explanatory. They're gonna go in the rod holders. Uh, I would show you, but they don't fit in here because they're too tall. They'd hit the ceiling and it's raining and I don't wanna get wet. So I'm not gonna show you that, but you get the idea there. Um, but I do also put, I only typically will take three or four rods. So I'll use my sand flea rake and I will put it right here. If I'm taking it with me, I usually put it towards the back just because when I'm walking, this swings around and I don't want it to hit my all of my rods. So I put it towards the back and when I pick it up from the front, it usually tilts back. Anyway, that's probably more explanation than you need. And finally, I've got the umbrella, which I will just slide right in here behind the sand flea rake and another rod and it holds it in place. So that's really it. That's all you gotta do. Uh, that's how I set up my beach cart. Uh, so I've got drinks, I've got bait, I've got a cooler for my fish that I catch, I've got my tackle, I've got my chairs, I've got my rod holders, sand flea rake. I've got everything ready to go to have a great day on the beach. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you liked the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming your way. A lot more fishing and fishing off of the beach. So stay bummy guys. Talk to you later.